Hey guys, so the first thing you do once you've downloaded your zip file is extract it. We've downloaded our zip file onto the desktop, so we're just going to extract it onto the desktop also. So once you've extracted it, you can see you have a readme file, a Photoshop file, an overlay and a layout.json file. The .json file is the file you'll install inside the Sparkboot layer editor. So here we are inside the editor. So we just want to click open on the top left and you want to open that .json file. So let's navigate to our desktop, locate the .json file. Now here you can see we have our Halloween portrait postcard template. So you can see it's just got the original text. You might want to customize some of this, you might want to customize the colors. So I'll show you how to do that next. So let's escape the Spark with software. Let's go back to our folder that's on the desktop. Let's click into that one. Now there's your Photoshop file. You can either open that with Photoshop or you can open it for free with the PhotoP online editor. It allows you to open Photoshop files, so that's the easiest way to do it. But if you want to do it in Photoshop, it's the exact same process. So here you click open under file, navigate to the PSD included in your download. And here you can see a Halloween template. First thing you want to do is change the text to suit our event. So we'll zoom in a little bit and just use the move tool. You can see our layers here on the side. So I found the text layout. Now let's just click on the T on the left. Firstly, before we change the text, I should mention you'll need to upload the fonts. So in the readme file, that's part of your zip file that you downloaded, it includes the links to the fonts. So download those fonts and you just need to load them into either Photoshop if you're using Photoshop or PhotoP if you're using it here. So here you just click in the load font button and we downloaded our fonts in just into our downloads folder. So you can see it just there. Now, when you do open the font, make sure it's the true type font file, the TTF. That's the file that actually includes your fonts. The rest of the files that were just included. Just press okay on that pop-up. Now your font's loaded. So now you'll be able to adjust the fonts. So click on the text tool on the left, click into the text area that you want to change say the 23rd of January, 2020. And we'll change the venue here. Let's make that, let's make it the arena. Because we've changed the text, the written text details, the little pumpkin graphic is actually sitting on top of the text. So if you move the text over, you can see it's now it's not centered anymore. So we need to keep the text centered. We just need to move that little pumpkin across. So let's go to our layers menu on the right. Let's find that little pumpkin layer. There it is, just under the text group. So let's click on that one, click your move tool on the top left, and then you can just drag that across. Now let's change some of the colors. So you can see above every layer, there's a hue and saturation layer. This is the same in Photoshop, it's the same in PhotoP. So just click on the eyeball icon and that will make that layer visible. Now you just need to adjust the hue slider at the top and that'll let you change the layer color. So here we're going for more of a green and, and vibrant bright red with the pumpkins. So that's easy to do and that's the same for every other layer. So wherever you see one of these the hue layers, that will allow, just make it visible and that will allow you to change the color of the layer underneath. And now for the text, we'll do the same. Let's make it green to match that background on the top left there. That looks pretty good. And I'll just drop the saturation down here so it's not quite so bold. Okay, that's looking pretty good. So now let's save it. So you just want to go to file and export as, and you want to export as a PNG. It's very important to export as a PNG so the squares where the photos go stay transparent. Leave all those details as they are, they're fine. Click save, and then it's just asking you where you want to save it. So we'll just save it to our downloads folder. It's just named a Photoshop PNG. The name of the file is not really important at this point. 
as you can see here, there we go, there's our PNG file in download. So let's navigate back into Spark Booth and we'll go back into the template editor. Now here in the top right, you can see where it says overlay. You just want to import your overlay. So let's navigate to download where we saved it and it's the photoshop.png. There you go, it looks pretty good. So it's already in there, all the photos are lined up correctly. You can click the eyeball icon on the top to view a, a preview of it. And here you can see it with some silhouettes of a head in there, which look great. And that's all there is to it. Now you've got your design loaded in and it's ready to go inside Spark Booth.